My next door neighbour was in Africa last week and he brought me a cocoa pod back. That's what they extract the seeds out of them and make chocolate out of them. Now I don't expect to find a piece of chocolate inside because I've read in Wikipedia that it's quite, quite a long process to make the chocolate and apparently the seeds inside are really bitter. But I thought it might be interesting to have a look inside. Here's a little video of the trees where, they were, where the pods were growing. So this pod's getting overripe now, you can see it's been getting brown marks on it there, so I thought I'll cut it open before it rots away totally and have a look, see what's inside it. Quite tough. Cut my fingers off. Oh, that's interesting. There's the cocoa seeds, I guess. I cut through them ones, yeah, I have. Looks like I have. So let's just... Yeah, it smells soggy. So that's the sort of thing that's inside there. And, yeah. Looks like chocolate, doesn't it? I'm just tasting one of those beans. I don't really taste of anything. Yeah, it's a, looks like it's a real expert job to do this. You can't even, can't even hold these things, they're so slimy. Like lye cheese inside. I just thought it'd be interesting to have a look because uh, it's not the sort of thing you usually see in Europe, is it? I see plenty of chocolate, but not exactly what it comes from. I feel like a doctor doing an operation here. There it is, outside of that thing. One chocolate bean. I'll just see if I can zoom in a bit on that for you. So that's what a chocolate bean looks like. And as I said, you've got to ferment it and then do something else to it, uh, ferment it and roast it. And eventually you'll get chocolate out of it. So there we have it, chocolate. So here's a, uh, bits of the chocolate bean here, and it tastes sort of bitter. Mmm. Maybe a tiny bit of chocolate taste. I'm going to spit it out now because it's too bitter. <laughs>